Hello friends, uh, I hope this is working. This is my young thoroughbred, Danny, or long lovely dancer. Um, I thought I'd just show you kind of what I do to warm her up because she is really green and I was just at a show and I saw all these green horses and they were all trying to shove them, shove their heads down um, and it wasn't working, it makes them really nervous. So I thought I'd just show you kind of my warm up and test out this mic thingy and we'll see where it goes. So let's see if I can get in the camera a little better here. When I warm her up, she's already been going about 10 minutes here, but when I start, I'm on a loose rein. Um, and loose can mean short and loose or long and loose. If she were a little bit hot right now, if something was going on, I might have a shorter rein, but it's still a loose rein. And, or it could be a long rein and loose. And she's pretty chilled out right now, so I might just be on a nice long rein. And then once she has acclimated to her surroundings, which she already has, obviously, but if she had to have a look at something, I would probably just let her have a stop and look at it and hang out and I might let her eat some grass, um, but she's already done that. So we'll just go on to the moral of the story, which is when I am warming up a young horse, I start out with very few questions. I don't want to overwhelm them because they just came out of the pasture or the stall or whatever. And, and if I start firing questions at them, they're just gonna get overwhelmed. And that's not really fair. So when once she's warmed up and she's relaxed and we've got a good rhythm going on, I pick up my reins and I just start to ask her for a little bigger stride. So I'm just gonna put my leg on nice and light, see if she gives me a bigger stride. And there it is, good. And then once, once I get that stride, I let my leg off. And if she wants to go back to her lazy little walk here, that's fine. Uh, no problem. Very simple questions, okay? So I put my leg on, get a little bigger stride. There we go. And that time I asked with a little more pressure because I wanted a little more push from behind this time. And she gave it to me. And then so I put my leg on again. Oh, and there's my bigger stride, perfect. And then I put my leg on again. There's my bigger stride, perfect. And I'm not really concerned about her head. So <clears throat> that was kind of the issue I saw at the show is that everybody wanted to shove their horses' heads down, but their horses are too busy being concerned about all the other horses and activities that are going on. So there's no rhythm, there's no relaxation, and they're trying to ask for complicated questions um, and so that just doesn't work your horse has to be rhythmic and relaxed before you can start to ask for bigger questions so she's doing good here we're asking for a little bigger walk she gives it to me if her head pops up that's fine and really I'm not not asking too much from her front end from her head my hand is connected nicely but you can see the rein is really loose. So if she wants to pop her head up, that's perfectly fine, as long as she goes forward. Because that's all that I want to focus on right now. Simple questions. So we'll just take her to the trot and see what, what happens there. And you can kind of see when I go to the trot, head kind of pops up. She looks very green, which is perfectly fine. I don't want to make riding something that she doesn't like. I want her to always feel confident. So, uh, same thing when I go to the trot, I start to ask for simple questions. Will she give me a little bigger trot? Yep, there we go, bigger trot. Great. Now, will she give me even a little bit bigger trot? Yep, perfect. And that's all that I need. I just need to know that she's got that forward button and that she's swinging nice and free 
through her body. She's nice and relaxed. Muscles aren't tense. She's happy. Ears are forward. And so I, that makes me happy. So, and my, my hands are still not asking her to put her head down. If she does, I'm gonna put my hands forward and I'm gonna say, that's great. Like here, I say, that's great. And I'm not worried that she kind of cut in there. I was happy with her stretching. So you kind of have to make it simple, one, one sentence questions, one thing at a time. If there's too many, the young horse just can't handle it. Well, the fourth level horse, which I might do another video, he would be able to handle a question that had a little more substance to it. But now she's warmed up a bit, so now I'm gonna ask a little bit of forward and a little bit of stretch. And she says, that's no problem. We've already talked about the weather and all the simple stuff. I can do that. So she gives me a nice, lovely stretch. And remember, this is a thoroughbred off the track. She's been, I think, a year with me now, We're doing maybe two to three rides a week. And she wants to stretch this nice. And that's just because I've kept it really simple. And she's always felt confident like she can win. And she likes her job. And that's kind of the point.